Hello, Prudential Sales Executives for our video message of the week. All right, our message today is about knowing and controlling your mix of business. Let me be specific here. All right. It is so important okay, for you to keep your business moving forward that you have a specific mix. Now, I'm not here to tell you to not work with buyers. I'm not here to tell you to not work with sellers or vice versa. I'm also not here to tell you to not work short sales, bank owned, traditional. That's not what today's message is about. What today's message is, is know your mix of business and make sure your mix of business ties back into your formal uh, plan of attack. Now I'm gonna give you some stats today because I want you to really internalize what we recommend the mix of business to be. Now before I do that, I want you to know why I'm giving you those stats. The stats that I'm gonna share with you are stats that are set up in a way to make you one, more efficient and more able to handle the business that comes to you. Did you ever notice, depending on your mix of business or the type of business, you can feel more stressed, maybe seem like you're wasting more time or using more time? Well, that's because of the mix of business you're working on. So let's get to it. Here are some general statistics that you can utilize to help you be more efficient and be more on your game. One, in listings and sales, the recommendation is, is that you have 60% of your business coming from listings, okay? 40% of your business coming from sales, all right? Now, I've seen this stretch where you increase the listing number and minimize the sales number. That's okay. I've seen it at 70-30. I've seen it at 80-20. I've even seen it at 100% zero. I would not recommend that because you always want a mix of business. But you can increase the listing side, but do not only increase the sales side. That's when you're really maximizing, or I should say, you're utilizing a lot more time to make the same type of income or have the same type of success. So mix of business, 60% listings, 40% buyers. That's a really good mix for you. Now, let's just talk the listings for a second. In that mix of listings, okay, so let's say you're sticking to it and saying, good, 60% listings, 40% sales. On that 60% listings, let's talk about the breakup within that segment, that inventory. What we recommend is 50% of that business being short sales or potentially bank owned together, okay, at whatever mix you want. So 50% short sales, bank owned, the other 50% traditional listings. Now think about this, 60-40, 60% listings, 40% buyers, and out of the listings, 50% can be a combination of short sales and bank owned and the other 50% traditional. Now you have a balanced mix of business that you're doing. Not only will that increase your income, but it'll save and bring you valuable time and effort, okay, for basically uh, additional income in many cases, and in many cases, it may even be the same income, but it'll be less stress overall. All right, have a great week, everybody, and know your mix. Bye-bye.